What's happening everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you not one, not two, but five JavaScript one-liners that you can start using right now in your JavaScript projects. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Now, number one one-liner that I have on my list is ability to detect if the user is online or not. So let's go ahead and implement that first and then I will tell you about the use cases of that functionality. So let's first add a comment called one and then create a const called is user online is equal to navigator dot online. And that's pretty much it. Now let's console log the value of this. Okay. Now if I refresh, as you can see, currently the value is for because I'm not connected to the internet but let's go ahead and connect to the internet and now the value is true now this functionality is really helpful in scenarios in which you want to keep the user on your app even when there is no internet connection so let's say user is browsing your app and suddenly they lose internet connection in that scenarios you can detect if the user is online or not using this functionality and then show them a puzzle or some nicer images to keep the user on your app even with no internet connection so this will help you in user retention now number two on my list is ability to detect if the user has selected dark mode on their system by default now i've seen a lot of websites allowing users to select either dark mode or light mode for the site now using this functionality you can detect if the user has selected dark mode on their computer and then pre-select the theme of the site based on that it will help in improving the user experience so let's go ahead and implement that so what i'll do is create Create a const called is dark mode enabled is equal to window dot match media now in window dot match media you can pass any media query you are not just limited to detecting dark or light mode you can pass media queries like max width to 600 and this should return true or false based on if the user's viewport width is 600 or less now what I'll do is I'll pass media query called prefers color scheme to dark and then then I will call a property called matches on this and then I'll simply just console log is dark mode enabled okay awesome now as you can see we are getting true because I have selected dark mode on my system now let me go ahead and switch to light theme on the system and you will see this value changes to false so I'll go here system settings and then I'll switch to light mode and now if I come back as you can already see now we are getting false value so based on this value you can pre-select the theme of your site that functionality this will help improve the user experience now number three on the list is that I've used in almost all my projects is ability to scroll any element into view so let's implement that first and then I will tell you about the use cases of it so we will do con scroll into view and then pass it an element this is a function so we can reuse it so what we will do is scroll into view and then scroll into view is a method and this method is available on any DOM element so what you can do is pass it an object behavior to smooth and then the another property is block to start and that's pretty much it now you can utilize this function anywhere in your app wherever you need to scroll any specific element into view and this is used a lot in scenarios where let's say user scrolls all the way to the bottom of the site so you add like a floating button that says return to back or something and whenever user clicks on that button you scroll them back to the top of the site this function functionality can be used there as well now in order to test this functionality I need to add some more divs so I'll go ahead and comment these two divs out in our HTML now we have these two divs so what we will do is we will call this scroll into view function and then we will just pass document dot query selector and the class of to. now for some reason this is not working as expected so I figured out I misspelled behavior so now whenever you refresh the site it will automatically scroll to the bottom and you can utilize this function throughout your project okay awesome so this is number three we have two more to go so number four on the list is just ability to remove duplicates from an array 
right so we will have data and then what we'll do is let's say we have the data with an array of one two three three four and five as you can see we have three repeating twice now sometimes we just want the ability to remove duplicates now before es6 the only way to do this was either using like filters or using map or some other array function or you can also do that using for loop now there is a much easier way to achieve the same functionality using set And this is pretty much it. This is how easy it is to remove duplicates from an array. Now, I know this one liner is like super simple, but you will see once you work on like bigger projects, you will see the need sometimes will arrive where you'll have to remove duplicates from an array. This is where this one liner will come in handy. Now let's move on to the last one on the list. Now, number five on the list is super handy in scenarios where you want to wait before running a certain operation. So let's first implement this and then I'll show you the use cases of it. So what I will do is I'll create a const called wait and then to that wait we will pass an argument called timeout and then we want to return a new promise. So we will do promise and I'll do resolve and then we'll do set timeout resolve comma and the timeout argument now let me show you what that whole thing looks like now we are just returning a new promise that will run this set timeout and run the resolve function after the timer is over now let me show you the use cases of this so now let's say we have a function called login right and if this is success we want to redirect the user so in this case i'll just console log redirecting right so let's run our login to true and hit refresh now you can see we see redirecting now what if we want to run some other operation before redirecting the user like running an animation or sh showing some kind of animation to the user we'll want the user to wait this is where this one liner will come in handy so I'll remove this so what I'll do is wait and then I'll pass five seconds and then because this returns promise we can do dot then on this and I'll add another console here called console.log running animation hit save now refresh so we are running the animation now we'll wait for five seconds and then we will redirect the user this is how handy this small snippet is and you can use this throughout your site and i've used it multiple times in almost all my projects that's pretty much it this is it for five one-liners that i wanted to show you that i use in almost all my projects if you guys want to see more such videos let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one